I'm Pepper, I'm stuck inside because of the coronavirus, and you are watching one of my videos, so let's get into it. By now, I'm pretty sure every single person on this entire planet, unless you have been living in complete isolation in Antarctica, has heard about the coronavirus. In fact, I'm pretty sure like 99% of you are watching this video at your home right now because you are stuck in quarantine and your school has shut down and everything has shut down and you can't go anywhere. Am I right? I'm probably right. Unless you're watching this like months and months and months and years after the coronavirus outbreak and your school is back to normal and everything, which in that case, hello, thanks for watching this. But anyway, right now the coronavirus outbreak has taken the world by storm, taken our lungs by storm, all that fun stuff. And so we have nothing better to do than sit inside and play Animal Jam. And that's what I've been doing like all day. I have reinvigorated my love for Animal Jam because I go through a love-hate relationship with this game because let's just take a look at the most recent news segment. And I used to love love making Animal Jam update videos because I was so excited to see what had come out. Lynxes and lemurs are back. Cool. They've been here. We have ferrets, baby chicks, falcons, and crocodiles. Uh, that's cool, but this came out a while ago. Sky Kingdom came out years ago. This is new. That's pretty cool. I enjoy this. I enjoy this little, uh, doodad right here. Pie Day. They do this every year. Build your own terrain bundle. Th this is that. This is that. Like, it's the same thing. You can't make like a double update about the same thing. Snow leopards are here. Wow. It's not like they've been here before. And pet ponies. Really great update Animal Jam. You've totally outdone yourself. You came out with literally one new thing and repeated it twice cool. So anyway, that's what I'm talking about. I go through a love-hate relationship with Animal Jam. I've been in this game for eight years, and after a while, things kind of get a bit boring, especially when they just come out with the same stuff over and over and over again. I'm sure many of the older players will understand my frustration there, but if you're new to this game, don't listen to me at all. This is a great game. So I used to go through periods where I would not play Animal Jam for months, and then I'd play it and play it for like weeks at a time and be like, yeah, I love this game again, and then I'd realize that everything was still the same and nothing was changing and there were no new updates and it was all just the same stuff and I'd stop playing for a while and then I'd start playing again on and off and on and off. Anyway, it is one of my on times where I am very excited. I have been playing Animal Jam like all the time and that is because I have found some lovely, lovely boredom breakers. This actually used to be one of my favorite things to do in like 2014, 2015 was look up online on YouTube, on different blog pages. I used to search up boredom breakers and most of them were like, play sky high, try to break the bridge. Karen, we all know that the bridge cannot be broken and stop kidding yourself because I have been playing this game for eight years and the day that bridge breaks will be the day like I die, I guess, because it's never, it's never going to break. It is never, ever going to break. If I hop on here for 10 hours, that bridge is still not going to break. I've seen the eagles come out. I've seen chunks falling off this bridge. And you know what? It's never broken, Karen. And I've seen things like play an adventure and I'm like, yeah, you realize I've played the adventures. I've done all the things. What else is there to do? So that's why this morning at seven in the morning, I woke up and I had this desire to create this video and I had all these creative juices flowing and I made a list and here is the list of top 15 boredom breakers for Animal Jam. And these are actual things that will break your boredom because if you're stuck inside all day, for weeks at a time, you might as well do the whole list anyway, right? So starting off with number one, and this is my current mission in Animal Jam, and this is what's gotten me hooked on this game again, and I've been playing it like nonstop until like two in the morning, and it takes a lot more time than you think it would. Create one character for each animal that exists in Animal Jam. I'm only on the lemur, and I have been doing this for hours, and maybe it's because my computer's just like really laggy, but do you see how many animals I have left to go? Like this is gonna take forever. It's great. And then another thing that I have loved doing even more than creating an animal is for each animal you get, create a pet for it, like specifically for that animal. So if I switch to any of these animals, they have a pet specific to them. So this is my little rock star guy. He's punk rock. He's all scary, but he has like the cutest little pink poodle. And I just find that like, that's the funniest thing to me. Or if I go to this cougar or whatever it's called, I kind of forget. It has a little pet that looks just like it. It's all weird and crazy and I love it. Another boredom breaker. Once you're done creating all of the animals and all of the pets for all of your animals, and this is probably going to take the longest, but I am determined to do it. Create a den specifically for each animal. So each animal has their own pet and their own den. So like when I'm the saber-toothed tiger, I'm gonna create an entire princess castle 
just for this saber tooth tiger and that's just number one those are so many things you can do and that's only the number one boredom breaker and that's like what i am currently on and it's been taking me days so that should fill up a bit of your quarantine time number two is to set your sights on a really rare item for me it was the magenta furry hat just because i have a lot of rare sent to me all of the time by you guys which thank you very much for them and so i was able to get a pretty rare item also if you only have monday rares or small rares that nobody really wants go to my latest instagram post right now and just post your username that's it i don't need an explanation or anything i have so many spiked wristbands and i want to give them away to all of you guys because literally look at how many i have it starts right here and we're just gonna keep going i have so many that i do not need so if you want one please comment on my most recent instagram post and i will just send it to you for free because i'm nice like that and all that next up on the list is go out to soul arcade or wherever in animal jam you know there's a game and play a game now i sound stereotypical and be like okay bepper how's that supposed to break my boredom like i'm just gonna be more bored playing a game for no reason and hear me out things are fun when you have a purpose to playing them right so if you just play falling phantoms all day yeah, cool, you're getting gems, and that's fun, but at a certain point, you're like, okay, what am I playing Falling Phantoms for? Well, we all love getting jamograms, right? I mean, I... I know it says I have 384 right now, and that looks like I haven't gone through them, but I go through my jamograms literally every single day. I just get so many a day that it's hard to keep up, and this is my first time on Animal Jam today. It's only 11 in the morning. Just give me some time, okay? I'm really sorry. Anyway, save up some gems, then go to the Epic Wonders, or if you're cheap, just go to like a regular store, but I like to do the Epic Wonders, and go purchase an item, any item. I'm gonna get a gold brick because I have 19 million gems, and I can afford to do that. Then go ahead and choose a buddy. I'm gonna choose foamy fur. Oh my gosh, look at that outfit. It's beautiful. Then go ahead and send your buddy a kind message with the gift that you spent hours to get them, okay? I love getting jamograms. It always means so much to me when I get one. It's just a random act of kindness. It brings you and your buddies that much closer, and I don't know, I just like making people's days. I don't know about you guys, but I like to be nice and be generous, and it means so much to me when I get a jamogram, so I like to share the love, you know? I remember back when I only got like one or two jamograms a day, and I would race to my jamograms and be like, oh, who sent me a message? So imagine giving that to someone else and you don't have to send them a rare, you could send them like an Epic Wonders item and that'd still be really awesome for them. Especially because I know I have 19 million gems, but I remember back in the day when I'd play like best dressed for hours just so I could spend gems on like one den. Even if they recycle the Epic Wonders item, it's still an Epic Wonders item, it's still a lot of gems and they'll probably get a lot of gems back from it and you'll have helped them immensely. All right, this one kind of goes back to number one and it's all about your animals, their pets, their dens, whatever whatever you want to create for them. So go to your switch animals section and just look at your animals and then create a backstory for each one of them. I already have a set backstory for this dude. He is a rock and roll star. He's very tough guy. He likes his motorcycles and stuff, but he just loves his little dog. I just love it so much. It's just the cutest thing to me. Like this little fella, this little fella was abandoned by his mother. Are you kidding me? Like, not actually, because he's a character on Animal Jam, but like, making up the stories makes it more fun to play with them. So get creative. You could even incorporate their items into the story, like I did this guy in his phantom shirt. He looks like a rock and roll star. You can make their pets part of it. You can do anything. It's your story. All right, number six, and this is mwah. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Foolproof way to break your boredom, because trust me, the second you start doing this, you're going to be hooked, and you're going to be very angry, because you will fail and fail and fail but then finally you will do it you will succeed and you'll be so proud of yourself and you'll be like wow i am cooler than literally everybody on animal jam and i'm talking about these two pets right here ultra puppy he has a bone effect and this little snake has the skull effect so what you do is you get a puppy or a snake or whatever you want actually not whatever you want it has to be a puppy or a snake because those are the only pets that effects exist for get one and then go to appendale if you choose a puppy and click right here to play with your dog you have to collect 100 golden frisbees so these frisbees will be golden they'll move very fast but after you hit 100 you will get this wonderful effect on your pet and literally nobody else has these like i always see people everywhere with their pets but nobody ever actually has this effect on them nobody oh thank you whoever just referred me so kind if you have a snake you're gonna come to coral canyons and play snake and again just like with the golden frisbees this time it's going to be golden mice and you have to get 100 of those and then you'll get the effect and i just love it so much because you can have cool clothing on your 
your pet. You can, you know, bring it around wherever with you. It could be a seal, which is like a really rare pet. It could be an otter, whatever. Does it have the effect? Did you actually spend time to give it that effect? And trust me, you'll get very fired up. I'm like already fired up. Like I want to keep playing this game, even though there's no point because like I already have the effect on this snake, but I'm like, I'm already 15 mice in, you know, so I might as well keep going right? Thank you guys so much for watching. This video was actually so long I had to split it into two parts, so come back tomorrow for part two, and don't forget to go and comment on my most recent Instagram post for a free spiked wristband. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe out there, and goodbye!